let's pop right in. Today we have Zach Lewis, Senior Customer Enablement Manager, here to show us how easy it is to get connected to DB360. And as always, we promise to keep our quick vines under 20 minutes. So keeping our agenda light and tight with reviewing what DB360 is and then jumping right into the demo. We'll wrap up with questions, so feel free to use the Q&A feature located at the bottom of your Zoom window. But without further ado, here's Zach. Awesome. Thank you, Cam, and thanks everybody for joining. Um, to kick things off, I always like to start with just a high-level slide giving an overview of DB360, um, which is a DSP designed for programmatic advertising. Um, it enables advertisers to manage and optimize their digital ad campaigns across various ad exchanges and SSPs, provides the tools for targeting, buying ads programmatically, and analyzing your campaign performance. And through the Data Standards Cloud, we offer a bi-directional connector. The next slides. Um, thank you. Um, looking at the connector in more detail, we can connect to seven different data streams within DB360. So campaigns, advertisers, insertion orders, line items, creatives, ad groups, and ads. Some of the key features include having a secure API connection that is very simple to set up. Um, you have the ability to filter the data. So you're only bringing in the data that you want to work in. There's also field mapping capabilities that give you the flexibility to map in your naming conventions, as well as several other additional data points with each data stream. And then it's on an automated sync schedule that runs three times daily or every eight. Looking at some of the key benefits, um, it allows you to automatically import data directly into the data standards cloud. So it's reducing any manual steps of importing or exporting, which allows for faster workflows. Um, you're able to capture additional campaign parameters that we may have not been capturing before. The data can easily be passed downstream to any data lakes, warehouses, or analytics teams. And then one of the biggest benefits is that it allows you to audit, validate, and update your naming conventions in bulk without having to copy and paste those corrections back into DB360. And with that, we'll just dive directly into the demo. So let me... Share my screen very quickly. Um, awesome. So there's four main topics I wanted to talk through today. We'll start with why is this important. We'll do a walkthrough of how to connect your DB360 account. We'll walk through how to set up your templates, and then we'll see it in action. So to start, why is this important? So when it comes to naming conventions, media teams have a desire to measure the effectiveness of campaigns using as much data as possible. Some of these data attributes are built into the names of each object in the media platform so that they can be used downstream in your analytics and measurement platforms. So having standardized and accurate naming conventions enables quick identification of those campaigns, can streamline reporting and analysis, enhances your team cl uh, collaboration, and can improve the management of a large volume of campaigns across various platforms. The Data Standards Cloud can be the solution for generating these naming conventions. So in this example, we're generating standardized and search and order names. It can also be the solution for validating, auditing, updating your naming conventions, all at scale by using our bi-directional connectors. Uh, so here you can see insertion, insertion order data that has been synced in from DB360. This template is configured to use our split and extract functionality. So on the inbound insertion order names, it's splitting on a delimiter, which is the underscore in this case. And then it allows me to easily find and correct any of my errors. Once those errors are corrected, you can simply just click submit and then via our DB360 outbound connector, those corrected insertion order names will automatically populate back to DB360. It can be also useful if your taxonomy changes and you need to make bulk updates to naming conventions that are already in the media platforms or if data parameters in the names change and they need to be updated. Uh, example being, you need to add a net new parameter to your taxonomy or something like flight dates change that are part of your taxonomy and, they, and those need to be updated. This bidirectional workflow can be replicated for the data streams that you want to connect. 
let's dive into connecting our DB360 account. So it's very simple to do. So once you're logged into your instance, navigate to settings, integrations, and then accounts. Click the blue plus symbol in the top right to add a new integration. Give your account a name. Find that DB360 icon. And then next you need to upload your service account key JSON file. Um, so this, we have a knowledge base article outlining instructions on how to do this. If you run into any issues or have any questions, you can always reach out to our support team or your customer success manager. Once you upload um, that file, go ahead and click save. And that is all you have to do. Next, we'll walk through setting up our uh, your templates. So to configure the inbound and outbound DB3C, DB360 connector to a template, navigate to the connect stage under template settings. We're going to go ahead and click the green plus symbol to add a new inbound connector. Find that DB360 inbound icon. And then select our account. So this is what we just connected in the previous stage. Followed by the data stream you want to uh, sync data in from. For this example, we'll go ahead and stick with insertion orders. It's going to be automatically set to sync every eight hours. And then under integration filters, I can select my start date, partner, and apply any additional filters that I may need. Next, configure your inbound field mappings. So you're mapping a data point in DB360 to a field in your player line template. So I have insertion order ID from DB360, map to insertion order ID field in my template, insertion order name to insertion order name, and so forth. Um, there are additional metadata points that live in DB360 that can sync in with each data stream. Good example here being my insertion order status and my insertion order type. With that, your inbound configuration is complete. So we'll go ahead and configure the outbound by selecting that green plus symbol again. Find the DB360 outbound, outbound icon. Select that same account that we selected previously. And then your data stream. This again should be the same data stream that you selected for your inbound. Next, configure your outbound field mappings. There's two required fields being advertiser ID and insertion order ID at the insertion order level. Um, and then the big one's going to be the insertion order corrected. So that is me reconcatenating, reconcatenating my insertion order name into with all the correct values and mapping that to the insertion order name in DB360. Go ahead and click save once you have all that configured. Then upon, upon saving, the data is going to automatically begin to sync in from DB360. Again, these steps can be replicated for each of the data streams that you want to connect. Next, let's see it in action. So from the pending tab, I'm able to see all of my inbound insertion order data that's been synced in from DB360. I can see my errors highlighted in red. I can make any updates and correct any errors. For this demo, I went ahead and updated the brand field, say DB360 bidirectional. My updated and corrected insertion order names can be found at the end of the template. Again, this is the field that we have mapped outbound into my insertion order name field in DB360. Click Submit. The data is going to automatically begin to process. And then as soon as the processing is complete, the updated insertion order names are automatically populated back in DB360. And then once again, this workflow can be replicated across all of Clarabine's bidirectional connectors. So Meta Ads, Snapchat, TikTok, and GCN. Thank you for joining today's Quick Find. Back to you, Cam. I love it. Looks super easy and snappy to get those campaign names updated and, and synced. Um, we did have a few questions come in. If you have questions, feel free to, again, throw those in the Q&A at the bottom of your Zoom. Um, but the first question that came in was, what are the steps if I want to implement this for my team? Um, the first step would be to get in touch with us. So you can go ahead and reach out to your CSM. We can arrange a call to talk about the best way to get you set up, talk about your current workflows and how the connector can best fit into your workflows. Um, so I'd say that's the first step. If you're unsure who your CSM is, feel free to reach out to support at Clarabine and they can definitely assist you. Lovely. And are we able to have data sync more than three times a day? It's currently pre-configured to sync three times a day. Um, but if you ever did need a manual sync, again, you can reach out to our support team and they can trigger that manual sync for you. Love that. 
And lastly, it looks like the final question is, is Clarivine planning to add any additional integrations? Uh, short answer is yes. Uh, we currently offer bi-directional connectors to Meta Ads, Snapchat, TikTok, GCM, and DB360. Um, we also have inbound connectors to Pinterest, Google, um, Google Ads, and Amazon Ads. Uh, there will be enhancements to current integrations as well as new integrations coming down the pipeline. Um, but if there is a specific platform that you wish Clarivine could integrate with, um, I would definitely recommend reaching out to your CSM um, so they can pass that information along to our product and engineering teams. Love it. Super easy. Last question is, will this video be made available to share with our teams? Absolutely. I will be sending out an email with the recording and this presentation within the next 24 hours. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Otherwise, thank you all for joining today's Quick Vine. That is everything we have for you today. And we will be sure to follow up with those resources. Thank you and have a good one. Bye. Everybody.